If we decide we want to use GraphQL, the next natural question is, how do I use it with a serverless framework? Or at least that's the question I would ask because that's like my default uh, way of deploying things. So uh, let's take a look at how we would do that. Um, so I'm using the same project that uh, we looked at in the GraphQL versus REST video. So um, in front of me, I have a serverless framework project and it's pretty simple. I have a service provider of AWS and I have some functions here. And so in the last video, we were talking about how everything is a post. So that is how you would interact with your endpoints. But uh, with GraphQL Yoga, they also uh, include this thing where if you just make a GET request, you can uh, see something called GraphQL Playground. And so it's an alternative to uh, using um, Postman. So we'll take a look at that in a second, but that is why there's two functions here. And so I have a GraphQL function, the handler is uh, handler.server, and it's just hitting a API gateway, uh, the root path with post and course true. And so the same thing for playground, except we have a method of get. So if we look at the handler, it's gonna look really similar to what we were using in the last video. Uh, the only difference is instead of um, getting uh, just GraphQL server, we're getting GraphQL server Lambda. So this is specifically for the Lambda uh, context. So we're doing the exact same thing where we're getting our resolvers, we're, we're bringing in the schema to GraphQL, uh, but instead we're using it with a uh, GraphQL server Lambda, and then we're just exporting um, a server and playground with lambda.graphql handler and lambda.playground uh, handler, which we're getting from here. And so these exported functions are what's picked up in our serverless.yaml file here. And then my schema, same as before is in my source file, uh, folder and then my resolvers, same as before. So if we go ahead and uh, deploy that, we get a URL. So let's go ahead and check that URL out. So I'm gonna make, so I, because I'm uh, accessing it here, that would be a get request. And so this uh, really nice playground application is gonna spin up for us. So this would be similar to Postman. So I can make a query here of product and we'll do ID of 1234. We'll get the ID and the name. Go ahead and call that. There you go. So that is how you would set GraphQL up with the serverless framework on AWS Lambda.